All right, I disconnected the old dishwasher. I disconnected the hose and the water supply going to the shutoff valve. And the next thing, we have a flexible conduit going to a little electrical box inside the dishwasher itself. And all I have to do is unscrew these two wire nuts and then the nut that's holding the fitting onto the conduit and that will allow us to pull the old dishwasher out of here. All right, so we have the new dishwasher and I'm going to go through the steps to install it. All right, I'm going to connect the electric first and on the bottom of the dishwasher on one side you're going to find the electrical box. You're going to remove the cover and you're going to have a white and a black wire. The white is your neutral, the black is your hot. And in this case we've got flexible metal conduit that I'm going to connect. So I'm going to push this through the back of the box and I'm going to connect it with a metal nut and then I'm going to connect the black wire to the black wire and tighten it down with a wire nut. And it's very important that you connect black to black, white to white. And always shut off the electric on any circuit you're working on. And in this case I turned off the breaker and I tested the wires before I started. So I'll tighten this down and then we'll go to the next step. Alright, the next step I'm going to connect my water supply. And for the water inlet, in dishwashers you're going to have two different fittings that you can use. In the, some of the newer dishwashers you're going to have three-quarter inch hose fitting connecting to a three-eighths compression. The three-eighths compression is going to fit to your supply line. In this case we have three-eighths iron pipe on one side which is going to go into this inlet and we have three-eighths compression on the other side to fit the supply line. And then the supply line is going to be connected to the valve. In this case we have a, a double valve so I have one of the hot going up to the sink and the other side of the hot is going to the dishwasher. If you're in a condo or somewhere where you didn't want to take off a valve and change it to a double, this is a great little fitting you can get at the hardware store. You've got three ace compression on one side, a female that's going to connect to a valve and it's going to give you two different threaded uh, connections here so you can go up to a sink and over to the dishwasher. So I'll connect the supply line now and then we'll move on to the next step put a hole in the bottom of the cabinet and that's where the supply line is coming from the dishwasher and we'll push this cabinet back and connect it to the valve and then we have the drain hose I cut a hole up high it needs to loop 32 inches off the ground for it to drain properly and now this is going to be connected to the pipe going into the p-trap and this has to be above this connection has to be above the J-bend or the P-trap going into the wall. So this is how we'll connect it. We'll get a hose clamp and tighten this down and then we'll connect all the under sink. Before you connect a new supply line to either your faucet or a dishwasher, you'd want to bleed it first. So I connected the supply line to the valve and I'm just going to let it run for a couple of seconds. And if you had any debris buildup you know, just from working and get caught in here, you don't want it to get caught in the aerator, in the faucet, or especially for the dishwasher, all the small pieces inside the dishwasher. So it's always a good idea to grab a bucket, bleed it first, and especially if you have galvanized pipe and you've shut off the water and you've turned the main back on, just that activity sometimes shakes loose a lot of rust. So it's always a good idea to bleed your valve before you connect the new supply line. Cut my extension pipe to size and I'm going to slip it up. I've got a nut and a washer above it and we'll just snug that down and now I'm going to take my trap. I've got a nut and a washer above it and we'll just line it up to make sure everything is placed properly and in this case we've got the dishwasher drain so this is what we're going to connect to it. I'll cut this to the proper size and then we'll put a hose clamp here. If you didn't have a drain washer, again, you would just use just a, an extension pipe in this place. And now I'll go back. I'll tighten all of the nuts. Plastic going to the plastic thread. Here I've got metal going up to metal and the stub out that the main drain is going into is metal, so I'm using a metal nut here. And those are the steps to change the under sink uh, drain pipe for a kitchen sink. Got the dishwasher in place and I leveled it and connected it with two brackets to the bottom of the counter. And this is what it looks like. It's a direct connect to the under sink supply here. And there's two ways you would connect the drain hose. It would either be a direct connect like this or you would connect it to a garbage disposal. So just to recap, if you're taking out your old dishwasher, you want to turn off the electric first. 
you want to turn off the supply to the old dishwasher and disconnect the hose. You'd pull it out, double check your electric, and then you would disconnect your electric and your water supply and the drain hose. And that's all there is to it, to replace a dishwasher.